right now, at this very moment, you are standing on a planet that is orbiting a sun within our solar system. Our solar system is orbiting around the Milky Way galaxy. But what is the magnificent force that allows the Milky Way galaxy, or any other galaxy, to spin? For the past nearly 50 years, astronomers have believed that there lies a supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy. But new studies looking into the central region of our galaxy have uncovered evidence that may force scientists to revisit what lies at the center. What if our current understanding of what lies in the center of our galaxy is actually wrong? You're watching Matter, and today we are looking at the three theories as to what's happening at the center of our galaxy. Theory number one, the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Most galaxies that have been found in our universe are thought to house a black hole in its center. Discovered in 1970, the object in the center of our galaxy named Sagittarius A star has become commonly believed to be a supermassive black hole. Sagittarius A star lies in the dead center of the Milky Way, roughly 26,000 light years from our sun, and over 4 million times its mass is surrounded by massive clouds of dust and gas. Compared to other supermassive black holes in different galaxies, Sagittarius A star is a quiet, calm black hole. It still will consume gas, dust, and occasionally stars, but at a slower rate than could be expected. For the past few years, Something about Sagittarius A star seems to be changing and X-ray telescopes have begun to pick up signals coming from the heart of the Milky Way. Why did it start to chatter? When these signals started to be emitted by Sagittarius A star, astronomers were able to detect it coming about once every 10 days. But not too long after they began picking them up, the signal started coming more and more frequently until it was at the point where the signal was recorded every day. Astronomers believed that these signals must have something to do with Sagittarius A star interacting with a nearby object. They noticed an object dubbed G2 that resembles a large cloud coming extremely close to the black hole that it got stretched out as it passed and likely lost some of its mass past the event horizon. It is still unclear what G2 actually is. Some believe that it is a star that is surrounded by what has been called a cocoon of dust. While Sagittarius A star feeding on the dust and gas from G2 could have caused this chattering, there is still work that needs to be done before it can be confirmed. Regardless of whether it's confirmed or not, being able to study G2 has allowed astronomers to get a new look at how matter is being funneled into the object at the heart of the Milky Way. Theory number two, new images show 1,000 filaments near the center. Nearly 40 years ago, a scientist named Yusef Zada discovered something incredible in the central region of the Milky Way. He found dozens of one-dimensional filaments dangling in space. These threads were up to 150 light years long and only found in pairs or clusters in which the individual strands are spaced apparent equally. His team had the goal to understand if these strands move and how they may change over time. But the small number of strands that they could study made it difficult to have any concrete understanding of them. But brand new images have shown something that astronomers were not expecting to find at least a thousand of these mysterious strands floating in the region. This new discovery has given Yusef Zada and his team more data to work with and to help figure out what is causing these strands to exist. What are these filaments? With over 10 times the original amount of strands available to study, has allowed the team to look at each one and get a better understanding of how they behave. After these floating filaments had been studied, they were able to determine that they are composed of cosmic ray electrons causing a magnetic field to gyrate close to the speed of light. Another feature of these filaments that have eluded explanation so far is how these electrons are being accelerated so fast. But some have hypothesized that there may be a source causing this acceleration near the end of the filaments. 
While the origin of these mysterious objects remains unknown, the continued study has allowed them to cross off a few possibilities from their list. Variations have been picked up from the radiation emitted by these strands, and these variations do not line up with any radiation that would be expected from a supernova or other known stellar events. This has led a few astronomers to theorize that the origin of these curious objects may lie with Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. But what if Sagittarius A star isn't a black hole at all, and is actually something far more mysterious? Theory number three, there may be no black holes at the Milky Way center. A team of astronomers have recently put forward a new theory that goes against what many in the field of astronomers currently believe. The massive object at the center of the Milky Way is not a supermassive black hole. Instead, this theory states that it is a large clump of dark matter. This theory has gained traction recently as more galaxies are found in which astronomers find inconsistency in the motion of objects around the center of these galaxies that don't align with the black hole theory. It has been shown in advanced models that dark matter can form into black holes if there is enough of its mass in one area to allow it to collapse in on itself but this team believes that there's not enough mass in the center of the Milky Way to allow a dark matter black hole to form. They believe there is just a large concentration in the central region. How did this team reach their conclusion that there is no supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy? They began by studying the orbit of the objects known to circle the heart of our galaxy. These objects include G objects, that appear to us like gas, but behave like stars and S objects, which are the stellar bodies in orbit. With the focus on two of these objects, this team found that the movement of the objects statistically fits much better into their model that includes a specific kind of dark matter than the conventional model with a black hole. After these first two results, they expanded their study to include all of the objects known to orbit the object in the center of our galaxy. They found that the movement of every object could consistently be explained with dark matter, giving more credence to this new theory. No matter if astronomers find a black hole, dark matter, or something else entirely in the center of our galaxy, the effects of it will remain the same. But being able to know what exists there will help scientists better understand how galaxies are structured, how they are formed, and what the future may hold for them. What do you think lies in the center of our galaxy? Thanks for watching. See you next time on Matter.